Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. I've got Bitcoin on the chart right now, trading at 56,600 per BTC. Um, still no movement for Bitcoin. I mean, we're waiting patiently for Bitcoin to break out, make some new all-time highs. Um, hopefully that could be the catalyst event for altcoin season to take over. But Bitcoin right now staying fairly stagnant. If I bring up the XRP chart here, let me bring up the XRP chart. XRP trading at about 94 cents. So XRP uh, on the daily, you can see we had a big knockback yesterday and today. So far, today we are in the green. XRP did have some great days over the last couple of days. So was this just a flash in the pan? Is XRP just playing catch up at this moment in time? Uh, you know, considering the rest of the altcoins have already rallied. Do we have to wait for a real bona fide altcoin season in order for XRP to keep making new highs? I mean, it seems like it's surprising us at every turn. And will it make new highs? I mean... I think it will. I don't think it's going to stay at a dollar, especially if we continue to see altcoins rally. So guys, I'm going to take a look at some historical patterns on the XRP chart, uh, seeing where we were, where we are today. Now that we've broke out, the chart looks a little different. So I'm going to get into that in a bit. I wanted to mention this petition though. This has been going around Twitter. El Crypto King posted this, Gary Gensler and the war on XRP. And apparently somebody has started a petition. Just over 1700 people have already signed this thing. And uh, guys, I will link it in the description. Uh, if you guys are interested, over the past few months, evidence is publicly mounted, which raises serious questions about the motivations behind the 11th hour changes brought on by the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission against cryptocurrency innovator Ripple Labs and two executives back in December 2020. All right, so this thing is going to spell out the entire story uh, of what's going on. But down here, why it is so important, two of President Trump's top political appointees at the SEC were and continue to be closely linked to financial interests in Bitcoin, Ether, and financial technology business in the People's Republic of China. Any of these connections individually would raise a question of conflict, uh, but taken together, it reeks of something more nefarious. And so, um, okay, just even taking a look at the photo up here, Jay Clayton here wearing a Bitcoin chain. Of course, these were uh, photoshopped. And William Hinman uh, with an Ethereum chain taking the hammer down to XRP. So um, whoever started this petition, obviously appealing to Gary Gensler and, um, you know, insisting that he do something about what's going on right now. Now. Uh, there was an update just yesterday. Friends, I wanted to let you know that we blew past 100 signatures in less than an hour and it's accelerating. We need to get the word out to everybody who was harmed by Clayton's SEC and we need to demand an internal investigation into the previous SEC leadership's actions. So this is more about investigating as to why Jay Clayton initially brought on a lawsuit um, suing Ripple Labs and it sounds like whoever is uh, spearheading this uh, wants to get down to the bottom of where these interests lie with regards to Bitcoin and Ethereum within the U.S. government. So 1,749 signatures and counting. Uh, guys, I also noticed this Ripple Partner SBI Remit and X Ripple Partner MoneyGram have announced a three-year partnership extension and this brought to us by the wrath of Kahneman. So yes, although MoneyGram uh, officially separated from Ripple, it's looking like they are finding a loophole to continue to utilize XRP. Of course, they realize it is making their business more efficient. They've gone on the record and said this already. So listen to this. For over a decade, MoneyGram and SBI Remit have delivered innovative and affordable money transfer services to meet the evolving needs of their combined customer base through both digital and walk-in channels. MoneyGram, a global leader in cross-border P2P payments and money transfers today announced a three-year extension to its partnership with SBI Remit and SBI Remit guys partnered with Ripple. We know the uh, parent company SBI Holdings uh, does hold a share in Ripple Labs. So for over a decade, MoneyGram and SBI Remit have delivered innovative and affordable money transfer services to meet the evolving needs of their combined client base through both digital and walk-in channels. Here's a quote, we are excited to extend our partnership with SBI Remit for three more years as we continue to expand across the Asia Pacific and enable more customers to send and receive money to and from families and friends around the world. This coming from Grant Lines, MoneyGram's uh, global chief revenue officer. Uh, through strategic partnerships with companies like SBI Remit, we continue to focus on customer experience uh, initiatives as well as enhancing options to meet the evolving needs of our customers. So MoneyGram and SBI Remit have had a partnership since 2010. Uh, however, they do want to extend. Of course, we know over the last few years, SBI Holdings and Ripple have uh, created a partnership as well. Winston Buki down here saying, uh, you know, it looks as though MoneyGram knows how to officially use XRP. Talking about Alex Holmes here, smart man, XRP, send it. 
Down here, BTC Klusker says canceled their contract but still partnered with SBI Remit, which is a partner with Ripple. So could be using through collateral, but hard to say without digging further. Uh, but we do know XRP is already being utilized in Southeast Asia. Many countries are still uh, leveraging XRP for ODL services. And so um, I suppose for the transfers that are occurring in those countries, uh, they will likely be utilizing XRP. I mean, it's no secret. It just makes sense. Alex Holmes has gone on the record saying XRP has been making MoneyGram's business more efficient. So it's great to hear that they are signing on for another three years. Uh, I also saw this guy's from T Hole Betic XRP with regards to SBI remit. So them and Union Pay International form a business alliance in the international remittance business. Uh, so this will actually make their remittance services to China more convenient. SBI remit, a subsidiary of SBI Fintech Solutions Co, uh, a comprehensive fintech solution company is engaged in the international money transfer service business. We have signed a business alliance agreement with Union Pay International which is a remittance service in China. So you guys can see uh, that partnership outlined here. Wanted to thank T-Hole Bedic for posting that. Michael at Vot5 Links posted this. Ripple is excited to announce the launch of Python. And what's Python, you ask? Well, Ripple announces Python implementation for interacting with the XRP ledger. So the team behind the Ripple X development platform has for long been focused on XRPL-oriented solutions. It has now released a brand new library, one that significantly mitigates the process of coding on the XRP ledger. So here's a statement. Ripple is excited to announce the launch of XRPL-PY, a pure Python implementation for interacting with the XRP ledger ledger. The XRPL-PY library simplifies the hardest parts of the XRP ledger interaction, like serialization and transaction signing, by providing native Python methods and models for XRP ledger transactions and core server API rippled objects. The development was welcomed by many in the community, uh, along with Monica Long, who is, of course, the general manager of Ripple X at Ripple. In fact, she also went on to stress the importance of the new instrument for Python developers and all XRPL enthusiasts. So here's a tweet from Monica Long uh, to that regard. Down here just gives us some more uh, techie information with regards to this project, but uh, just wanted to mention this, and I will leave it in the description for those of you guys who want to read further. Gotta keep going, there's lots to cover today. This from the cryptic poet Ripple partner Instarem unveils new brand image and upgraded customer offering. So this is a Ripple partner Instarem, guys, and uh, they have done a brand upgrade. How payments improved Instarem and BTEX customer service. This was an article from uh, Ripple's Insights blog from back in October of 2018. Uh, partnership to allow RippleNet members to leverage Instagram's existing networks. Again, another one from 2018. Uh, and now these guys rebranding, changing their look for a new world economy. Wanted to thank uh, the Cryptic Poet uh, for bringing that to our attention. Let's talk about XRP price, guys. This from Mac Attack XRP. Are you ready? So we have been seeing some interesting movements on the charts. This is an ascending triangle uh, that he posted. Looks like he posted this uh, earlier today. Take a look down here. Uh, 30 minutes later, of course, uh, we are looking at this breakout here for XRP. Now, it's interesting to take a look at this chart and the most recent movements we have now seen for XRP. There's a lot here that I think we have to pay attention to, um, and today I'm going to focus on one of those things, which is particularly this fractal pattern here that we saw back in 2017, and I've showed this on the channel in the past. I will link a video uh, up here where I discuss some of the indicators that uh, was suggesting that XRP price was going to rally before it actually rallied, okay? And then sure enough, we did see that rally. So um, just to reiterate, here's the fractal pattern I'm talking about. And the one from 2017 is a more subdued version of the one that we're seeing today, okay? If I extend this out uh, and pull it out just a little bit, you guys can see how that pattern looks more similar. Now, we've taken a look at this and sure enough, we have broken out. But what could we expect next, guys? Let me reset the chart here. Well, here's what I've noticed so far looking back to the 2017 model and uh, comparing it to today. So what I've noticed is this, guys. And if we take, um, let, let me just bring up some horizontal lines here to show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me take this horizontal tool here, guys, and uh, put it right over here, just underneath the neckline of the second bump up here. And then I take the price tool, the price range tool, take it from that point, and bring it all the way up to what we've currently seen, okay? Actually, let me just bring that up a bit. Okay, we have seen an increase of about 117%. Now, if I do that same thing over here and take the neckline right in around here, okay? Take the price tool, bring this up a little bit, bring this up to about 117%, give or take. What does this demonstrate? Well, this shows us that 
to the all-time high there is still about 516 516 percent left on that rally now 516 percent of course is lower than that uh, initial target that uh, we're going for and uh, by no means am i suggesting that uh, that is going to be the new all-time high for xrp but i just wanted to kind of give you guys a sense of where we're going percentage wise here all right that would essentially bring us to right about up here and uh, what is that price? That price would be roughly $6.82, give or take. And it really just is amazing how these things tend to line up. Uh, guys, if I take a look at this chart pattern and bring the Fibonacci on here and line this up, guys, with the bottom, the 0.236 level on the Fibonacci, take a look at that, guys. Take a look at how close we get to that line, the 2.618, right up here, okay? So just going to outline that with a uh, rectangle, highlight it with a rectangle there. So now the question is, could we see XRP get to the $6.82 level? Maybe find some resistance up there because we know it does hit the 2.618. Now this is not to say that the $2.30 or $2.80 level in and around that range there is still not going to be a significant level of resistance. I just wanted to take a look at it from another perspective and um, I mean, we're going to see consistent levels of resistance along the way, especially if we want to make our way up to that 10 to $13 mark. This does match up with the previous fractal that we have seen back in 2017 so that's an interesting fact as well and look at this guys if you go to the top of this Fibonacci right up here at the 4.236 it does bring us in that uh, zone in that 10 to 13 dollar level so that level up there would be at about 11 dollars and 21 cents the other thing I wanted to mention about this let me get rid of all of this is that um, when taking a look at this and this gets me really excited is that this fractal is way less intense than this fractal here. I mean, as I demonstrated uh, before, right? When I took this fractal pattern and I brought it over here and uh, wanted to overlay it onto here, what we had to do was we really had to exaggerate it quite a bit. So extend it and uh, manipulate it so that the wild swings uh, would match up, even though um, the pattern itself is quite similar to this pattern. We did really have to exaggerate it to give it that same uh, dramatic effect. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, there's a lot more volume, a lot more traders interested in XRP today than there were in 2017, which means more demand, more price movement, larger swings to the upside, but that also means larger swings back down, larger retracements to the downside. And so could this trend go to $6.82 or even higher before reaching even higher highs? Now, again, we're basing these measurements on the the 2017 rally and I know um, you know a lot of the TA we follow bases it on former rallies but we also have to take into consideration there are so many more people in the space and so the volatility is greater more demand for XRP right now we're seeing XRP catch up to the rest of the market so could that six dollar and 82 cent price target be just the beginning of a rally that will take us way beyond the 10 to 13 dollar mark I mean we're eyeing 10 to 13 I'm sure many in the XRP community are keeping their fingers crossed for higher price targets, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.